All right, so in today's video, I'm going to be making an action scene instrumental cue using the foundation of Native Instruments action strings and action strikes. If you're not familiar with these instruments, they're sample-based VSTs that you use inside of Contact. Uh, they come in a Native Instruments Complete, and essentially they're kind of like a sequencer. So they have presets that have rhythms built into them already. So I'll show you the basic rhythm here. I'll go uh, one step further, actually. We'll move to this one. So essentially you would just play the key that you want to play on the keyboard or, or the chord and you would get this. And so on. And it just comes with a whole bunch of different phrases that you can use. And I think that these are like a really good entry point for people that want to build something that is in the realm of orchestral programming. Let's see what we can build today in a relatively short period of time. So I'm gonna cycle through here. Alien attack sounds pretty good to start with. Okay, maybe not. That might work. Okay, so let's run with that. And I'm going to highlight these and then go option or control click force legato two, and then in the next four bars, I'm going to do something slightly different just to give it a little bit of variation. One slight little change at the end there. Okay, so now we have our strings laid out. So now let's go ahead and pull up another instance of contact and we are going to bring in action strikes. We're gonna open up the ensemble here. So they have a few different ensembles for you to choose from. And I think I'm gonna go with the War Ensemble one because it's a really great song by Slayer. I did kind of feel like this was gonna be a chasing scene, so let's go ahead and see how this works. Okay, I think this one works, so let's go ahead and record this. And, and you'll notice I'll be adding keys as the strings progress as well. Okay, so the cool thing about that is that you can find different patterns within the one sound, or the one rhythm, I should say, so. So if we listen to this, I just moved it down on the piano roll. I can go ahead and duplicate that again. And then I know that there was uh, even some higher end percussion stuff there. So I'll add that as it progresses because it just gives a little bit more intensity. So now what I'm going to do is just add a little bit of damage here because I want something with like the tick, 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 tick. you know what I mean? That sounds like it's probably going to work. So now we can hear as the intro progresses. So I think right here is when I want to introduce uh, something a little bit lower end. So now I'm going to open up emotive strings, see if we can get something. Okay, so let's go ahead and record that in now. Thank you. 
now, now we're cooking. Wonder if we can go up a whole octave here. Or, or we just layer all of those. And let's thicken this up a little bit too, actually. Okay, I think one last thing that I want to do is add another another set of action strings on here so that we can add And so for this one, when I'm recording it, I'm actually going to be switching between the two patterns using the D sharp zero and the C sharp zero to trigger the patterns as I'm recording it. So hopefully that recorded properly. Now let's see how that sounds. Holy smokes, that's good. I'm nerding out hardcore here because I had no idea how this video was gonna go. Okay, so I think that sounds pretty good and I would like to play that back now. Actually, no. I want to add one last thing in here. Again, this is all stuff from complete. And so what I'm gonna add is some rise and hit. So let's go ahead and play that back in here. Recording. And I think I'll add that through all of them, including right through the end. I think we have a complete track there. That's it. I mean, it took me about 30, 40 minutes. It sounds like a pretty legit piece of music that actually progresses throughout it. And I even probably could have done a little bit more, but I just wanted to show you how easy it is to actually build something like this. And this is the kind of stuff that works well in stock music libraries, production music libraries, and it really serves as a good way for people to understand orchestral programming first and foremost. You know, learning how to switch up the octaves and build upon rhythms, etc., and how to add in different layers of strings because there's obviously so many different stringed instruments and you need to learn how to use them properly before you get really involved with proper orchestral programming. But with that being said, I think that I got a nice piece of music here and I'm going to run it back right for you guys right now. And if you enjoyed watching this video and you want to see more of it, like I said before, make sure to subscribe and I will catch you in the next video.